take a look at the auto adjustment that we have right over here and calibrating bam there we go and as you can see it's all crooked and if i put it this way for example aligning and ta -da 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 -da, bam there we go this is just awesome it doesn't matter the distance that we are as you can see completely off and then it will auto adjust and boom and regarding the light conditions we will talk about it in just a few moments but as we can see the laser does a huge huge difference this is stronger than any living room any kitchen any space that we have this is roughly 25,000 lumens that i've got right over here to record and we still can see it and of course recording with the sound which is the worst camera that i do have to record this kind of situation and back with another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today to take a look at the 4 movie s5 which is a awesome laser projector with a form factor which is really really small but in terms of features and capabilities it's huge and compared with the dozens of projectors that we have seen here on the channel in second place just just behind the a wall 2500 and when i mean just there is quite a gap because this is a projector that projects the light to the front and the a wall i will leave a link right over here just in case you didn't check that out is a ultra short throw projector so it has a lot of advantages in that kind of technology during with the normal projectors this is the best of them all now if you are using your computer to watch this with windows and you still haven't activated don't forget to check out case fans i will leave a link down below with a coupon code where you will get an extra discount on the already low budget prices of the official om keys for windows 10 and windows 11 so if you want to check that out i will leave a link down below just next to the 4 movie s5 which is in my opinion for the price that we pay one of the best projectors that we can get because we get a lot of features as we will see now this is a 1080 laser projector with the capability of 4k decoding with one of the things that was awesome and this is the best image adjustment that i've seen so far i've seen a little bit on the intro but this guy right over here is capable of adjusting everything automatically not only the image size but also the focusing and the keystone so it's really really smart it has a technology that will allow us to just point it to the screen that we want and there we go in my particular case i was using a 120 inches screen display and on my case as you can see there are black bars on top bottom on left and right and i do believe that those bars are the ones that the projector uses to take the measurements and then put the image inside and one of the things that impressed me as well was the image size they mentioned 40 to 120 inches but i do believe that we can go higher without losing quality the adjustment menu is the most complete that i've seen now there are some full menus that are not as complete as this one in terms of image adjustments we will find right over there a lot of options that will be automatic but we will also have some manual options where we will be able to reduce the image size for example if by some reason i need to put it further away from the wall because my furniture or something like that and i need to reduce the size it will be just fine you can do it that automatically or i can adjust manually and go down to 60 percent of the image size without losing quality operating system based on android which is awesome so we have right over here a am logic t 982 sock with two gigabytes of ram and 16 gigabytes of storage which we can use to install apps now the apps can be installed in several ways uh, we can put a usb drive and then install from the usb or there is also a menu available on the projector which has some shortcuts to install apps like aptoid which was of one of the apps that i did install and after that we can install several other apps like youtube xbox plex netflix and so on and so forth i did try quite a few from all of those that i did try only two did not work which was my tv provider novo and netflix and both of these basically what i did understand is that they don't have 
Google services. So any app that requires that will probably not work. Nonetheless, for example, YouTube, which I do believe that as for Google services, thinking about that right now, did work just fine. YouTube was one of the apps that I really enjoyed using right over here, along with Kodi, Plex, and so on and so forth. So we have a lot of options that we can use in terms of apps without using any other device. Now, before we move on, because as you can see, I'm a bit excited <laughs> with all this. There is a lot of information. Now, in terms of the projector itself, it has this size. And when we look at it on the pictures and so on and so forth, I thought, okay, it's a good projector, but nothing special. But the truth is that it is. In terms of build quality, it's small. It is nice to see. The design is really nice. Built of premium quality plastic and rubberized plastic here on the top with this fabric, which is is covering the speaker system which by the way it's awesome and then on the bottom we will have a quarter inch screw so that we can put on a tripod or on a ceiling mount and the fan grill right over here as well and then on the back we will find the power button USB 3.0 HDMI 2.1 and audio jack along with the USB type C for power in terms of the menu itself it's huge and i would say that if you are going to get this projector right over here it's awesome purchase an awesome experience but for those that never used any kind of devices such as this i would be overwhelmed with the options that we have which is something great we will be able to grow with it but at the first moment it will be a bit intimidating and i would um, try to pass to that side that we have three huge options right over there. So we will find the options for the projector itself, where we'll have the image settings, the audio settings, and so on and so forth. So everything related more to the hardware itself and the way that it functions. And then we will have the Android options, and those are more familiar to us. We will have the way that the apps work and so on and so forth. And then we also have the launcher options, which is basically the skin that we have access and all the options and customizations will be more targeted at the aesthetics itself, what we see on the menus and so on and so forth. So each one of these huge categories will have a lot of options. It would take a full video just to talk and show you all the options. Image quality is great. It is only surpassed once again by the AWOL 2500, which was the best projector that we have seen so far. And this one right over here at a fraction of the price does behave really, really well. We do notice that it has a superior brightness and comparing with the normal projectors, this is completely different. The image is really clear. So if we are happy with a projector that is on the range of the 300 to 400 euros, I would seriously consider to give a little bit more and get one of these because the results are just awesome. I hope that I can send to that side some images that you can see that and then compare with other units that this is far superior to the normal one. So really, really happy with the way that it works. And honestly, I was surprised how this small form factor is capable of packing such a awesome image quality and all the features that it has. Now, besides image quality, the sound. Hey, this lad. E hoje, novamente, com o tema das energias renováveis. Vamos olhar para o último painel que eu coloquei ali fora, o Hyundai de 480 watts, um painel top. Hoje vou partilhar contigo aqui alguns detalhes, nomeadamente aquilo que eles estão a produzir por dia, aquilo que eles estão a produzir por semana. As DTS, HD and Dolby Audio. Audio quality great, volume 
it depends on the size of the room that you are. If you are in a huge size room, then probably you will need a dedicated sound uh, system. If not, then this will be more than enough. And I was just thinking that if I would purchase a lower end projector and then a lower end sound system, probably I would be on the price range of this one right over here, which actually gives a great image quality and a great sound quality. Now, there are a lot of other features. I would like to point out two of them, which are basic to us, probably. One of which is the air screen. We have Wi-Fi and we have Bluetooth, so we can connect to the network Wi-Fi. We can then download the apps that we have seen directly and so on and so forth, but we can also use air screen or AirPlay, depending on if you are using an Android phone or a iOS phone and I did show you an example right over there that we can share our phone screen without giving the phone to anyone so great experience right over there and besides that we can also connect Bluetooth devices if we want to connect the gamepad for gaming and so on and so forth we can headsets and other Bluetooth accessories we will be able to do so and of course if we want to connect an Android TV box or any other device a computer and so on and so forth on the HDMI we can I did connect my Nvidia Shield TV and in this case i was able to play netflix i was able to play all the apps that we use on our android tv boxes with a great image experience so just these two small details and that is it i would have to spend all day right over here to show you and to share with you all the features that this small projector has but basically this is the summary of all really impressive for the size that it has that being said hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen today with the four movie s5 my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one